Hey everybody, in this video we're going to be talking about graphing derivative functions. The big question is how do you graph the derivative function f prime of x when given the graph of f of x? Here's the main strategy. The values of the tangent slopes at each point along the graph of f of x become the y values of the derivative graph. Let's explore an example. Suppose we need to graph the derivative of this function. Let's start by looking for horizontal tangents. These will occur at maxima and minima. Here we can see we have two horizontal tangents. Since tangent slopes are zero at local maxima and minima on polynomial functions, that means these points correspond to x-intercepts on the derivative function. Now I'm gonna trace along the curve plotting little tangent lines to analyze the slopes. Here we can see we have positive slopes that are decreasing. After crossing the local maximum, we can see that we have a negative slope, and that negative slope decreases until it hits its lowest negative value. Then it increases and comes back to zero to reach the local minimum of the function. Then after passing the local minimum, we can see that we have positive slopes that are increasing. Now we can put all the pieces together to draw a sketch of the derivative function. And here it is. Let's trace through this again to make sure you understand. The function starts with positive slopes that decrease. So as you can see, our derivative starts very positive and decreases towards zero. Then after passing the local maximum, the slope becomes negative. But there is a point where the slope reaches its least negative value and then increases and approaches zero. After the local minimum on f of x, the tangent slopes are positive and increasing. That's why the derivative function is greater than zero and increasing. Let's try another one. Here's the graph of a function f of x, and we want to draw the derivative. Starting from the left, we can see that the tangent slopes are negative and decreasing. In fact, the tangent slopes approach negative infinity. Then on the right, we can see that the slope starts very, very positive, but decreases. And now here's the derivative function shown in red. Pause the video to take a moment to make sure that you really understand how this was drawn. What about this example? Here we have a linear function f of x. Since the slope is always constant, that means the derivative will always be constant too. Here it looks like the slope is approximately equal to one. That means the derivative function will equal one. And here's f prime of x shown in red. Let's do one more example. Suppose f of x equals the absolute value of x. How would we draw the derivative function? Well, on the left, the slope is negative one. On the right, the slope is one. That means we're gonna have two horizontal lines that represent the derivative. But what about x equals zero? As it turns out, derivatives don't exist at corner points. That means the derivative function for the absolute value of x is a piecewise function. We have a discontinuity at x equals zero. So in summary, it just takes practice to learn how to draw derivative functions. What you need to remember is that you're actually graphing the value of the slope of the tangent line at every point along the function f of x. And that gives us a picture of the function f prime of x. Just keep on practicing and soon you'll be able to see these very quickly. You got this. And that's how you rock calculus.